us we have uh, Leonidas and Benoit who's going to explain to us the game uh, Mythic Battles. Yes. So tell us more about the game. Okay, so Mythic Battles Pantheon uh, is a game based on Greek mythology. Uh, it's going to launch on Kickstarter on no November 1st. And uh, everything you know about mythology is true and what this game tells about is what happened next. And what happened next is that the Titans were released and we'll explain during the Kickstarter why. Uh, and the Titans launched a massive assault on Olympus. Olympus was near destructed and the only way the gods could prevent it from destruction was to unite. They all united including, and that's an important point, including the god of Hades, uh, of the underworld, Hades. The underworld is a map that we can see here. So Hades had to participate in this big fight against the Titans. Many gods were destroyed and killed. And when they die, they are reduced into a form of crystallized energy called Omphalos. So this is an Omphalos. And we'll have them in the game like, like this, right? So, and because of the sheer concentration of opposite cosmic energies, the gods are made of energies and the, uh, the, the titans are another form of anti-energy, there was a big explosion. Uh, during this explosion, all the, uh, the Omphalos were scattered across Greece. And uh, when the gods, the gods fell in Catatonia, when they woke up, they realized that they had lost uh, their immortality. They could be killed. They were still much stronger, much more powerful than uh, heroes, but they were mortal now. And they could sense the presence of the Omphalos, which, are, which is the crystallized energy of the dead gods. And so they, uh, they, felt, uh, they felt where it was, and they realized also they could absorb the energy of the Omphalos. And when they, when they do so, they regain a little bit of their godly powers. The first god who can absorb uh, enough Omphalos Will, will gain back all his powers and, will, and can become a new king of God. So in, a game, in the game, you play a god. You play really a, a real god. So god in the game are, are twice the size of humans, you see? So this one is Ares, for instance. This one is a hero, is Achilles. And so you play a god, and the first thing you will have to do is to recruit your war band. So you are going to recruit the greatest heroes in history and the greatest monsters in history and the survivors from the cataclysm. Because of the explosion, 90% of the population was killed, but you have survivors. So, and because Hades was no longer guarding the underworld, uh, the greatest heroes in history could climb up the river Styx and they are resurrected. That's why you can play Achilles, you can play Heracles, you can play Leonidas, you can play uh, uh, Jason and all the, the, the greatest heroes in history that were in Elysium and who could climb up the river Styx. And because uh, the Titans were released from Tartarus, uh, so were the, the greatest monsters you all know. So you can, you can recruit the Hydra, the Lernan Hydra, you can recruit Medusa, who's here. You see, you can, you can recruit the Minotaur, see, uh, and all the, all the monsters. So the game uh, will be released in Kickstarter, and if we reach uh, a big, uh, like, uh, if we have enough success, sorry, <laughs> we'll unleash, uh, unlock many other heroes and monsters that will add up to the, uh, the, 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 the creatures you can recruit. It's our second Kickstarter. We are Mythic Games and uh, we are co-publishing it with Monolith. Monolith released the immensely popular Conan game. And so uh, we, we hope this one will be a success too. And because we did it with Conan, you know, in Conan there is uh, uh, an area, a country, which is based on ancient Greece, uh, like Corinthia. So we'll probably do a crossover with Conan to let people who backed Conan, play with the mythic battles, maps, and figures. Okay, so this is what we can have in the basic kit of the, uh, the game. Yes, yes, absolutely, yes. Uh, in the basic, in the core game, you'll have all those miniatures plus four maps, four maps. So you'll have uh, 
uh, the Styx river, river, like, like here, the Styx. Uh, of course, it will be a two-dimensional board, but you can add some 3D elements on it. We'll have uh, uh, Olympus, we'll have... Uh, uh, the Hydra Swamp? The, uh, no, 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 not in the core box. In the core box, we'll have Olympus, uh, Styx River, Tartarus, and the Minotaur Labyrinth. Okay. okay. And then in expansions and uh, add-ons, and uh, we'll unlock many other uh, maps and uh, settings. Okay, so is it going to be like a campaign? Because you said we have to recruit heroes first, and then... That's a good question. Uh, we have two modes when in this game. There's the very easy and simple, which is the skirmish mode. In the skirmish mode, you don't have, you don't need any preparation. You just open the box, you put your minis there, you draft your warband, and you play. Not no real scenarios. It's just two victory conditions: either you kill the opposing guard, or you uh, absorb four Amphalos. Right? So that's a very simple game. But then you have the scenario mode. And then in the scenario mode, you play a campaign of several scenarios, and the victory conditions are different. You don't necessarily play a god, you could play just a hero. And from one scenario to the other, uh, everything that happened in the scenario will have an impact in the next one. So it's more of a storytelling game, kind of role-playing game, but focused on combat. Okay. So, thank you very much. And uh, Benoit is the author, the game author. <laughs> Hello, so, you made this all happen. Yeah, nevertheless, uh, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were both involved, but the game first released in 2012. Okay. And it was just a board game with no minis. It's and kind of reboot, actually. Yeah. yeah. This one is a reboot, so it, this is the game that could have been uh, done with the big means that we put in on, onto onto the game. The more success, yeah. the bigger success we have, the more minis people will have with their box, right? What is important to know is that each mini brings a, a, a unique gameplay. Yes. Uh, so each, each fledge goal will, be, will really bring uh, additional uh, game style. Okay. Yes. You, yes, you don't have any two characters that have the same powers, the same gameplay. They are all unique and different. And because the game allows many combos, because it's a game that mixes cards, miniatures and dice uh, you can do some combos so uh, every time you add a new character that adds really some possible new combos and gameplay so the more minis we'll have uh, the, the more depth we'll have we're very happy to to have you thank you very thank much you uh, and uh, we look forward to seeing you guys on kickstarter <laughs> so we hope you have great success thank, thank you, you thank you very much okay.